Welcome back to the second part of our guide to identifying Costa Rican trogons. Last week we took a look at the three yellow belly trogons. The black-headed trogon, the garter trogon and the black-throated trogon. Today we'll have double that work in front of us as we look at the remaining six trogon species in Costa Rica. But fear not, trogons are very friendly birds with nice and easy identification. So let's jump in. Before we get started, I encourage you to have a look at the first video of the series, because there I go over the critical field marks to look for in trogon identification. Remember, you want to look at five things. Head color, bill color, eye ring, undertail and wing coverts. But let's start with the elegant trogon. This beautiful bird occurs in the dry Pacific lowlands and foothills, where it hangs out in the middle and upper level of trees. The male is Costa Rica's only red-bellied trogon with an orange eye ring and a yellow bill. It has a very fine barring on the undertail. Its green head is separated from the red belly by a white chest ring. The female has a grey head and a light grey chest with a red lower belly. It's the only trogon in Costa Rica with a whitish patch behind the ear. The croaking call of the elegant trogon doesn't quite reflect its name. The male collared trogon is quite similar in appearance. However, it lacks the orange eye ring and the undertail bars are not as fine. Also note the noticeable bars on the wing feathers. The female has a brown head and brown wing feathers with quite a unique pattern on the undertail. It has a broad back strip on the upper part of its bill. To make things easier and more complicated at the same time, the collared trogon has a subspecies that is sometimes referred to by its own name, the orange-bellied trogon. Aside from the, you guessed it, orange belly, the birds are absolutely identical. Why that makes things easier? The only range overlap between the collared trogon and the elegant trogon is in northwestern Guanacaste. But only the orange bellied version occurs there. So depending on where you are in the country, if you see a trogon with a red belly and a white chest ring, you can be absolutely certain of the ID. Dry northwestern lowlands and foothills is elegant, central and southern highlands, it's colored. Its call is a series of Q notes. <coughs> Moving on to Baird's trogon, which is endemic to Costa Rica and western Panama. It only occurs in the southern Pacific lowlands and foothills. It is the only red-bellied Costa Rican trogon with a blue eye ring and a blue-gray bill. The male has a dark blue head and solid white undertail feathers with a black tip. The female has a gray head a barred undertail and finely barred wings. Its call is a series of high-pitched chucks. The other red-bellied trogon endemic to Costa Rica and western Panama is the lattice-tailed trogon. It's rather uncommon in the Caribbean foothills south from Rincón de la Vieja. It's the only trogon in Costa Rica with a pale bluish iris. That's iris, not eye ring. The male has a green head, but no chest ring separating it from the red belly. The undertail is dark with fine white barring. The wings are also very finely barred. The female has a grey head and chest and more obvious barring on the tail. The pale iris is still the diagnostic feature. Its call is reminiscent of a hyena-like laugh. The slaty-tailed trogon looks somewhat similar, but it lacks the pale iris and has a completely unpatterned dark undertail. The male has a green head, a dark red eye ring that, depending on the light, may or may not be noticeable, an orange bill and fine bars on the wing coverts. The female also has an orange bill, but the upper mandible is black. It has a grey head and chest and no barring on the wing coverts. The slaty-tailed trogon is quite common in the wet lowlands and foothills on both sides of the country. Its call is um, kind of like a barking chihuahua. And finally, for completeness' sake, the resplendent Quetzal. This trogon is pretty much unmistakable, and if you're a birder visiting Costa Rica, you're probably very familiar with its appearance. And everyone should be, it's simply marvelous. I hope that was helpful, and you now feel confidently equipped to identify all nine Costa Rican trogon species. If you still need a little help, don't worry, we've got you covered. I'll drop this very cool Trogon ID sheet on our website and I'll post the link in the description. No email, no sign up, no nothing. It's all yours. Thanks for watching, see you soon and happy birding. Ciao!